Today we would be talking about the 709 AD spot welder setting up. The 709 AD spot welder. In the previous video, I showed all the things that it came with. Today, I'll be doing a test weld. But the settings I use may not work for you. You would have to try or do a test weld for yourself to see which setting works for you. This is the 709. It's a 220 volt spot welder. It has a knob at the top that's to adjust this to put more tension on it. When you put your battery here and bring it up, it has a switch which it would click. Now, if you plug the foot pedal in, and you bring this up it won't activate the switch once the foot pedal is plugged in it deactivates the switch here so you to spot weld here you would have to use the foot pedal this green knob is to power on the spot welder this red knob is to power on the soldering iron but to get the soldering iron to work you would have to have the green knob and the red knob on together and then you turn Once it's connected, the light blinks. Once the light blinks, which means the iron is hot, you turn this knob to the desired heat that you want the soldering iron. It starts from 150 to 500. But for the light to blink, you have to plug this in. Once you put this off, the red one, which is for the soldering iron, this is deactivated. Let's do a little demonstration okay I have the foot pedal down now I won't be using the batteries I have because I don't have much batteries but I'm going to use this one to do your spot weld at the front. You would have first bring the current up to six without moving the pulse. Once it's here, you'd be able to do your spot weld. It didn't also you'd bring it up you'd increase your current I take it all the way to a uh, eight I 
and this is it with no pulse one thing I forget to mention when using the spot welder if you don't have glasses wear a goggles because sparks would fly and you could never tell what direction the sparks would go so you this is a good weld but if you find right now it's on two two pulse if you find it when you do this it didn't weld you hit four which is four pulse and you could either do them individually that's six that's eight or you could do it one by one or all together it depends on what you looking for and what kind of nickel strip you have so this is for the front now let's take the pen with the pen you don't have no polarity it would go any side and it has a very very tight fit with the pen it would be totally different you bring your current back to six <clears throat> now if i use just that without the pulse this you would have to be playing and adjusting because what i find these wires are too small so once you switch from here to the pen it's something totally different the other thing these holes here it's when you spot welding that's for bend that generate a heat now if you hold it like that you would feel the heat in your hand so you have to hold it somewhat this way now this moves up and down that's so you would put force on the nickel strip so it would lie flat on whatever you want to spot weld and it won't keep or have a, any gap once you do it like that you press it lies flat and then you press your foot pedal let's see how it is I'll put a four pulse and I'll have it at six press it didn't weld so I'll take it up to seven and a half and nothing so I'll go all the way to eight it it weld 
so it's something that you would have to play with now you would be sorting your battery pack i have four pulse and i set my current all the way to eight for you you might either have six pulse eight pulse or all of them together I'm quite satisfied with this spot well I don't know if you can see that the weld now if I increase the pulse this is a good weld a very very good weld i'm quite satisfied excuse me with a spot welder as i say what work for me may not work for you so it's something that you would have to play with play with the settings to see what works for you the other thing which I forget to mention, which I should have mentioned from the beginning, when you buy the spot welder, I would advise you to open it because the power wire is resting on the transformer. I tie my mine with tie wrap to get it away from the transformer. You would have to tie your wire for safety sake because using the spot welder constantly for a long period of time that wire keep rubbing because each time you press this you notice that is moving together with the pulse which means the wire inside here would be resting and rubbing on the transformer and eventually it will cut and you might be electrocuted if you are not an electrician or do it yourself or you feel uncomfortable in doing it speak to a well uh, electrician to assist you this is it for now from the 709 AD spot welder. If you find this video is helpful, please like, comment, subscribe. Everything I used and show in this video, I'll have it in the a link in the description below. If you order from my link, I'll get a small commission at no extra cost to you, which would help the channel go a long way. Thank you. Goodbye until the next one.